I like that one. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back in the workshop. Honestly, it feels like forever since we've been in here doing deep up wah, mods. But today, doing a bit of a recovery day because um, doing those wheel bearings, we had, uh, what do you call it? Like a, not a bottle jack, the crane jack, whatever they're called. Um, we were using that to lift the wheel up off the ground. Not very ideal. Um, so I've had this high lift jack sitting around for a long time. So we're gonna mount that up. So the other things that we're gonna be doing is um, we've got a, what do you call that? Like a tow bar hitch. Um, so I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna paint that first because it's an oldie. Had that around a long time. We also have bought high lift jack mounts. I'm not gonna make them. Um, we can stuff around for ages and I can only weld steel. These are a powder coated stainless steel so they won't rust. So um, that's gonna save a lot of time. And uh, the recovery points, they are from Mitch at All Terrain Industries. He was kind enough to send me a set. Um, so shout out to Mitch. If you guys need recovery points or any other gear for NP300s or pretty much, he does a whole lot of 4B stuff. So go check out All Terrain Industries. Get your shit now. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this old um, tow bar hitch a lick of paint. She's uh, all rusty just from sitting around. So big bit of solid steel that. So we're gonna quickly paint that, sit it out in the sun. Um, and then we're actually gonna move on to these hitches. Like how friggin' good do they look? They're gonna look sick on the front. So they go. Uh, we take this factory point off. This is to like get it up on a tow truck and all that sort of stuff. And uh, that's actually gonna bolt directly under there. It's gonna look pretty mint, I reckon. Pretty keen to get that one on there. So um, yeah, like I said, we'll get some paint on this old hitch and we'll look at mounting those uh, recovery points. All right, so we wanna sit this here out in the sun to get it nice and hot. Then we're gonna give it a look of paint. So now that we uh, got them out there drying, um, what we're going to do is start mounting these up. Now it's kind of like it's kind of hard for me because I got a bull bar, but these here are actually designed for the driver's side to um, place into the chassis rail, and uh, it gives you something to hold on to so you can actually do the bolt up. Unfortunately, because I got a bull bar on, either that means the bull bar has to come off or we work some wizardry and we uh, slide that into the chassis and uh, try and move it up. Like, it's hard to explain, I'll show you in a second, but pretty much the passenger side here, because it's already got, um, it's already got this tow hook mounted there, it's actually got threaded holes up inside here. So the passenger side, very easy. All right, so we're over in the, um, on the driver's side now, this is the hard section. <laughs> And that's because I've got the bull bar. It actually blocks off the front of this chassis rail here. So normally there would be a big hole there that you could actually thread that rod that I just showed you up onto these two holes here. So there's one, two, and uh, that would mean that then you can hold that um, nut there while you do the mount up. What I've managed to do is I've shaven just the ever so slightly the side off one of those um, plates that are welded to the nuts. And I've put it through this hole here. I've managed to slide it forward and um, as you can see, we're actually locked onto it there. So I've done one, I'm gonna film doing the other one. I just wanted to make sure it worked first. And uh, hopefully that's gonna mean that we don't have to take this off because I've taken this bull bar off literally a thousand times. I'm not about that life and I'm not about to do it again. Let's try it. All right, so this is um, what we were talking about just before. That actually slides up in that chassis rail if you didn't have a bull bar on. Um, unfortunately, the, the thickness of that plate's too thick to slide through the hole that I showed you, so we just have to nick just the side of it off, which is no big drama. Quickly give it a lick of paint, and then we, um, we'll try and thread this one through, and hopefully we get that one, and uh, then we should be away. <laughs> So like I said, just a nick off the side, that should do it. Um, Cause that's raw steel while it's hot from grinding. I'm just gonna get a quick coat of paint on it and then we're gonna try and slide it up. Whew. You just gotta kind of yolo it and drop it. Like that. Oh, 
All right. How's that, boys? I just saved about 400 hours of my time. That's mint. All right, so now that we've got those two in, we basically just got to do the same, but hold the um, recovery point there. So let's try it. Back, 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 back. Okay, so that actually didn't take long at all. Um, taking that bull bar off and getting that plate off, it's probably like an hour and a half in that. That probably took me about 10, 15 minutes. So it's just that oval hole in the chassis here. Um, like I said, you do have to trim the side off like you've seen and uh, slide it in there, just put a magnet across, center it up with the holes and then she's mint. That, that is on there. So you only use two bolts. So you only use two bolts. Like I said, um, the fold goes out this way because if you can imagine, the fold going in this way would be pretty close to this bash plate here. So that's given us plenty of room to quickly chuck a snatch strap or a D shackle on and um, we're away. So that looks sick. I'm very happy with that. I was a bit worried there that I had to take that off, but she's all good now. Look, not going anywhere, mate. So now for this side, this is the passenger side. Looks like we've already got two bolts up there. So we'll just take those out, quickly bolt the other one in. That's like a two minute job. Mint. I have actually snatched off this before. Don't do it. So just before we keep going, um, All Terrain Industries are offering a discount code. So if you guys head over to their website at the checkout, put in capitals Rome Life with no space. Um, it's a discount throughout their whole store, but if you guys did want to pick up these recovery points, um, there is a cheeky little discount waiting for you at the checkout. Just ignore that rusty shock. How bloody good do they look? I'm so stoked with them. Obviously very practical to have them, um, like very important, especially if you're doing some pretty hard wheel and you'll, you'll pretty much need them. All right, so now what are we doing? I'm gonna have a quick tidy up and then we're gonna look at uh, mounting that high lift jack and I'm gonna show you what my thoughts are with that. And also our stuff's finished drying. Also, Alicia's been chilling. So the other thing we want to do today is um, we want to mount this high lift jack. What I'm thinking about doing is um, putting it on the back of my tow bar. So basically the tow bar sits, you know, yay wide. This is actually going to sit like that. And um, we did buy these brackets. These are actually from Super Cheap. They're a stainless steel powder coated bracket. I was actually going to try and make my own, um, but when I seen these, I was like, hell, stainless steel. I can't, I can't um, weld stainless steel. So thought these would be a really good um, option for me and uh, probably for the rest of you guys too because it would take a fair bit of time to make your own. So these actually sit. So these sit like that and then you get this um, sort of handle here that threads through and it actually locks it in. So um, it's actually going to work pretty well. The only thing that's going to be hard is actually mounting this to the tow bar. But I have test fit it and it all seems to work. So why don't we head around to the back of the ute and check out my idea for it. So I was gonna use rib nuts um, and just rib nut them in and hope that it holds, but I've actually decided that I'm just gonna do it properly. And I'm gonna drill through the whole tow bar um, from the bottom up. So I'm gonna drill right up and uh, we're gonna slap one of these long bolts in. We're actually gonna slap two in on uh, these two holes here. I'll, like, I'll need to make these a little bit bigger. So that's all right. Um, and then basically we're gonna get a much better hold, like that's gonna be strong as, and you won't even see it. We'll put the bolt up this way, you won't see it that much. So that's the plan for now. Two long bolts, um, just gotta drill it from the bottom first and then uh, we're away. She'll be mounted up and she'll never go anywhere. <laughs>
dry for a bit. In. So finishing touch, that's all loose, so what you do, you just pop a zip tie around it. Just to stop that moving. And we're done. So how sick does that look? Little disclaimer though, because uh, I have no idea what I'm doing 99% of the time. Uh, I didn't actually think about these bolt holes lining up, so just make sure that um, you get a measurement from center of a hole to center of one of these holes on the other side. Um, that way that your two little um, threaded rods here will actually go through. I just had to move mine literally three mil. It was just nicking on the side there. Um, so I just want to be honest with you guys, make sure that you do that if you are going to do this. So I'm pretty stoked with that. I've been meaning to do that for a long time. She looks bloody sick. Might throw a zip tie over this side as well, to be honest. So while we're down here, the recovery hitch is actually dry now. Um, so what we're gonna do is just quickly swap that over. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Super glad I found those brackets. Um, it just literally made that a thousand times easier for me. Uh, the only thing that's left to do is uh, there's a hole back there, like I said before, that you can put a padlock through. So I will go and get probably two padlocks just to lock it up, or maybe one, maybe one will do. If somebody wants to cut a padlock, they can pretty much have this thing. Um, also, the tow hitch. So now we can pull patrols out. I mean, <coughs> what? Right, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, cause we still haven't washed it after coming back from Somerset, I'm just going to pull it out, give it a wash, um, pretty much just give it like a mini detail, so I'll film that as much as I can. And uh, yeah, all this jack and stuff needs a wash because last time I used it, it was quite muddy, so get this rig outside and get it washed. Lines creep while you and me repeat This bittersweet heat is suffocating and always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire guys so that's actually it for today um if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up really does help me and i really do appreciate it i actually i appreciate every single one of you either way so um once again if you want a discount code um for ati just use roam life go check out the website um mitch is a nice guy so just do us a favor give him a follow on instagram and um yeah that's it for today guys we will catch you later